Hello and welcome to, bio, to this Bioprocess International Ask the Expert webcast. I'm your host, Leah Brosnan, the online editor for Bioprocess International. Before we get started, just a couple of notes. This webcast is being recorded and will be made available for replay in the multimedia section of our website. We've muted the audio lines, but we welcome you to type in your questions for our speakers in the chat window on your screen. After the presentation, we will begin the question and answer portion, and I will ask our speaker your questions from the chat window. Your questions in the chat window will only be visible to myself and our speakers. So thank you for joining us today. It is now my pleasure to introduce our speakers, Elizabeth Vachette and Claudio Catalo from Sartorius to Dean Biotech. Good afternoon, good morning. Thank you, Leia, uh, for the kind introduction. Um, okay. Sartorius so Stadium is the leader in providing to its customer a full range of products and systems for the entire upstream and downstream processes that include cell culture media, fermentation, cell arresting, and downstream processes up to final filing. During this webinar, we will focus on the global supply chain for the fluid management technology operation unit. In Sartorius Stadium, the supply chain is organized with two entities, global supply chain and local supply chain. The local supply chain has in charge the end-to-end -end supply chain of each manufacturing site or operation site. All our manufacturing plants represent our operation network. Global supply chain is in charge to coordinate and optimize the flow of materials through the network and the best balancing of workload across the different manufacturing sites. Some activities are specific to the global supply chain and some to the local one. Typical global activity are supply and capacity planning, strategic procurement and suppliers management, operation network optimization, while operation planning and scheduling, as well as materials planning, are local activities. For other activities like inventory management, logistics and distribution, innovation, launch planning, the global supply chain is setting the direction and the targets, while the local supply chain is translating them in tactical execution. Global supply chain is assisting to, with expertise and best practices, the local supply chain for achieving targets and boosting the operations performance. What is the advantage of our supply chain based on global supply chain management team and local supply chain team? Local supply chain team are focused in achieving tactical targets and operations execution. Global supply chain is focused in building consistent processes across the operation network is best utilization and in preparing uh, the operation network for the future demand. Even if EPIX, the American Production and Inventory Control Society, is considering that supply chain consists at least in seven basic elements, for managing them, we may have a more important number of processes. I want to focus here in two processes that are critical in any supply chain. It means how to balance demand and capacity through an SNOP process and how to mitigate risk of supply disruption. In Sartorius, a dedicated team supported by a specific software executes risk analysis assessment for all our critical components and vendors. When a risk of supply disruption 
and these impacts have been identified, we define the best solution for removing risk or mitigating it. Typical solutions can be your sourcing, tools duplication, alternative materials, stock programs, or vertical integration. Why it's an advantage for our customers. Assurance of supply based on risk analysis approach, it's a best practice for assuring a best in class service level to our customers. Any supply chain manager has to deal with. Which capacity do I really need? We know that overcapacity is a cost. To run with low capacity has a direct impact on service level. We are never happy about the demand accuracy. In Sartorius Stadium, our SNOP process take care at all to the aspect. An SNOP process is all about how to balance demand and capacity. We have three levels of SNOP in Sartori. Short term, 12 months horizon, mid term, up to 18 months, and five years, means a business plan. Through the SNOP process, we are ready with the right capacity at the right moment. We can anticipate future bottleneck, and we plan our inventory using them as a leverage between demand and capacity. For defining the demand, a dedicated team is in contact with our main customers for collecting every month a 12 months rolling forecast. Statistical approach is used too where rolling forecast is not available. Once the demand has been defined, our network planning team translates it in a supply plan for our manufacturing plans that optimizes our capacity utilization and finishes good inventory. Sartorius Stadium is preparing the future, investing in all in infrastructure in all the region for increasing its global footprint worldwide, as well as in system, modern ERP with a global solution. Within global supply chain, a dedicated team of project manager is in charge of leading all the project related to dual manufacturing, capacity deployment, vertical integration. As you can see, Sartorius operation network cover almost all the worldwide region. Our global and local supply chain team are focused in providing a best-in-class service level to our customers. Thank you, Claudio, for this clear description. So the second part of this webinar will focus on assurance of quality supply. In our single use and our film development, the starting points are material science, film, and bag expertise. Using quality by design principles, our films, like the FlexSafe film, have been developed based on the definition of critical quality attributes for the final single use system that have been transformed in critical quality attributes for bags and for the sun. Finally, the critical process parameters have been defined as well as the raw material specification that all have been tested under a design of experiment. This in-depth understanding of the entire process provide a scientific-based knowledge, allowing to take decisions based on risk analysis and material science. Process development steps are taken with a systematic approach, providing complete product and process understanding. 
And this is the base for using continuous improvement as a virtuous cycle. So the complete control of the process over the entire life cycle provides the guarantee of flood to lot consistency for cell growth, for example, for robustness, or for extractable and leachable profiles. Finally, material specification process controls and quality controls established at all stages of the entire single system manufacturing process achieve robust quality and consistent product performances. Thanks to the three party relationships that Sartor Husted in Biotech, Sudpac, and made sorry with Sartor Husted in Biotech, Sudpac, and the resin suppliers, we have achieved the unique position providing the highest quality level with robust change management. We guarantee the complete control of the manufacturing from the resin to the thumb, the bag, the components, and the final product. The reliable supply and quality obtained with these partnerships and the production expansion and the product standardization allows to provide a four-year guarantee of unchanged firm after the change notification. With the contract and agreement obtained for the components, we guarantee a two years of change notification for our pre-designed solutions, which are our standard products. As described previously, we have a business continuity plan in place with a mix of backup equipment and safety stocks. And we are continuously expanding our manufacturing network over the world. So that brings us to a complete control from the resin to the bag. In addition, the creation of pre-designed solutions tailored to process requirements is a key factor for standardization and as a basis for the assurance of quality supply. To answer the challenges of customers, many experts and customers' feedback have guided us to this creation of pre-designed solutions, which are singular systems designed per application process steps for all our product families. These pre-designed solutions drive standardization with quality improvement and change control management. Based on standard components that are off the shelf with two years of change notification, we can offer standard solutions with best quality, best delivery performance, and assurance of supply, thus allowing to reduce complexity at the end user site and optimizing their inventory. Finally, the assurance of quality supply is based as well on our end-to-end -end quality controls. Based on risk assessment and initial qualification plans, we have established the quality control plan all along the manufacturing steps of single-use items, from incoming quality checks to in-process quality controls and to final release testing programs. Our final quality control plan covers endotoxin checks, subvisible particles, and bioburden tests on either weekly representative samples or on samples taken from the batch itself for critical products. We have recently launched the visible particle test on representative samples, allowing us to monitor the visible particles and feeding our continuous improvement program for our clean room operations. With this end-to-end -end control plan, we clearly guarantee the complete control of the manufacturing from the resin to the film, the bag, the components, and the final product. As a conclusion, so how did we create a robust supply network for our single-use system? First, material science, film, and bag expertise are the foundations of our supply network. In order to control the entire single-use food path, we have established a global supply network based on global supply chain management as described by Claudio, 
based on partnerships, supply contracts, quality agreements to control the entire flow path. We have and are expanding our own manufacturing footprint worldwide. In addition, with our process and application-based pre-designed solutions, we are able to offer well-qualified standard solutions for each process step. And we are leading the movement towards standardization. We have achieved the highest level of quality and the most stringent change control in the industry for our resin, fans, and components. So what for? This end-to-end -end control of the entire supply network, from the resins to the final assemblies, provides definitely consistent quality, robust change control, and business continuity planning. So with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention, and we will now be pleased to answer to your questions. Great, thank you. So the first question is, what will change for the end users with the implementation of the global supply chain organization at Sertorius? Uh, Claudio speaking, yeah. Uh, in, in, the, in the past, uh, every manufacturing plant was working uh, as a single entity, trying to face to all the pipes or the up and down of the demand. The global supply chain is now through the SNOP process able to balance workload between manufacturing sites, optimizing their utilization, and adjusting proactively the capacity based on the demand. As a result, we are able to deliver better lead time and delivery reliability to our customers. Okay, and why is demand planning necessary to improve the supply service efficiency? Now, for us, currently, we use less than our installed production capacity. It means that in terms of clean room, production line, we are ready to absorb the planet growth for the coming years. Then to increase the user capacity, it's a question of manpower. For recruiting and training it, it takes months for this reason. For having them on board when needed, we need a demand forecast accurate as much as possible, or to have more information coming directly from our customer and anticipate the entry of additional workforce. Thank you for the question. Okay. And how can Sertorius help our standardization project of single-use items in order to decrease the number of references? Yeah, Elizabeth speaking, yeah, it's an interesting question. And here Sertorius is offering standard products that have been created based on more than 30 years of experience in single-use design. And this will really help the standardization in the industry. Those standards are based on selected components with best quality performance, and they benefit from the best lead time. So in addition with the standardization movement, we have uh, recently launched a web-based design tool, and this is really allowing the process engineers at the customer side to design their own final product by using sub-assemblies within a completely qualified design space. So we really see that trend at our customers willing to standardize and decrease the number of references. Okay, thank you. So we have time for just one more question. If we didn't get to your question, um, your questions typed in the chat window will be passed on to Elizabeth and Claudio to follow up with directly. So go ahead and continue to type questions, but we're just gonna answer one more question now. So what are the benefits of using quality by design for your film development? Yeah, that's quality by design might be a buzzword. So no, really quality by design allowed us to uh, clearly identify and satisfy customer needs in a logic way. So the definition of critical quality attributes is the best way to develop single use products within an associated control plan thus providing them the final expected quality level 
in a consistent way, year after year, lot after lot. So it's really in our DNA from a development point of view. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for you. And thank you to our audience for joining us. The recorded version of this webcast will be available for on-demand viewing on our website. And as a registered attendee, you'll receive a follow-up email providing you with a direct link. We look forward to having you join us for future Bioprocess International Ask the Expert webcast. Look for those announcements in your inbox.